Hello, my bestest friends in the literal whole world, all 14,126 of you. <laughs> so sometimes you guys know that on this channel I try BuzzFeed's recipes because they make them look really easy, um, but I'm a real human being, not a lizard person. So sometimes things are a little bit harder than they seem, like croissants, macarons. The chocolate chip cookies were the first, what, were? The, yeah, they were, I guess, chocolate chip cookies. The chocolate chip cookies were the first thing I ever made from BuzzFeed's recipes. They turned out really good. It, like, you know, it, they didn't turn out like BuzzFeed's turned out, but in baking, you must know this, that baking is a precise chemical equation where it matters if you put in one teaspoon or two teaspoons of butter. And I am a very general person, and I kind of like to eyeball it. So things don't always um, go as planned in baking. One time I made cookie muffins. When I was trying to make cookies, I accidentally made muffins. So that's how my baking career has um developed but alas it is not time for baking it is time for making my favorite vegetable today we're making mashed potatoes buzzfeed thinks they've made the recipe for the perfectest mashed potatoes it's going to be huge i really like mashed potatoes they are my favorite thanksgiving food as well as everyday food i can eat them every day i wish they weren't so fattening I don't like it when I think that I'm eating a vegetable, but really I'm eating a heavy cream and butter induced puree of sin. I came up with that on the spot. Am I a genius or what? Like honestly, do you guys think I script my videos? Because I don't. I just sit here and I talk to myself for like 20 minutes and then I'm like, why do I have no friends? Last year I made Thanksgiving dinner for my boyfriend. His name is Nicholas, if you don't know. He's 73 years older than me and right now it is our 47th anniversary. Going great. I made a Thanksgiving dinner. Everything came out lovely. Um, sometimes I buy things from Whole Foods and I put them in the microwave and pretend I cook them. So he's really impressed with me, but I am a liar. So, however, I did make the mashed potatoes alone by myself um, and they came out like glue. Thankfully, BuzzFeed explained why my mashed potatoes came out like glue. It's because I used a hand mixer instead of mashing them with my hand. So today we're making BuzzFeed's bestest mashed potatoes they've ever made in their whole lives. Step one, acquire mashed potatoes. This is one of BuzzFeed's easiest recipes, so if you make nothing else, make this one. Here's what you need. Potatoes, heavy cream, le butter. Okay, hi, so we're in the kitchen. Duh, here we go. All you have to do is boil the potatoes. So apparently the kind of potatoes that you get for mashed potatoes are really important. I am a potato racist, self-proclaimed, because I prefer the golden potatoes. The yellow potatoes are my favorite. I like them more than the white potatoes, so take the potatoes and just boil them. Have you guys seen that one company on Shark Tank? It's called the Potato Parcel. You can send someone a potato with your face on it. And I think that's gonna be my next business move because genius, hello, hello. Sharks, our company is Potato Parcel, and we mail potatoes, and that's it. to peel the potatoes so we're just gonna peel them now welcome to my potato peeling factory ow 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 oh my god they're so hot okay oh yeah <laughs> honestly a disaster already i don't know how i managed to do this oh but look at those beautiful golden potatoes huh i'm not gonna have any fingerprints after this because they're just gonna be burnt off so i can commit all the crimes i want because they're not gonna be able to catch me without fingerprints so here I go. I'm gonna go steal some Twix bars from CVS. <laughs> At this point, you're actually gonna place the potatoes back in the pot over medium high heat and stir them around for two to three minutes. That's just gonna release any excess moisture. At the end of this, the potatoes should be super dry. To like get the water out or something, I don't really know. Now we mash, ladies and gents. Most people use a potato masher or even a fork. 
Some people use a potato ricer for a more uniform texture. And no, I don't have a ricer. If you don't have any of those tools and want to get a similar result, you can use a fine mesh sieve. And I'm not going to do it through a sieve because I have things to do today besides make mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes. Adding some butter. You want to use unsalted butter because it allows you to control the amount of salt in your mashed potatoes. We made so many variations of mashed potatoes and taste tested all of them. We tried cold butter, milk, melted butter, sour cream, cream cheese, heavy cream. And after all that, we decided to stick with melted butter and heavy cream. Add your heavy cream to a small saucepan over medium high heat. This is also the moment when you can enhance the flavor of your mashed potatoes. We're gonna add some rosemary sprigs and garlic, but you can get creative with other herbs and ingredients as well. These are some leaves from the Himalayan mountains, so mine's gonna be better. Also, these are the last remaining pieces of greenery from Mount Vesuvius, and they're gonna be in my heavy cream, so. I think I'm making something like mozzarella or something. Is it supposed to be boiling? This is just a disaster and then add just the cream to the potatoes little by little until they're fully incorporated. Remember, if you add all the heavy cream at once, it's just gonna become a soupy mess. As you fold the heavy cream into the mashed potatoes, you're gonna see this really smooth texture start to come together. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's that easy. Your potatoes are finally ready to serve. Mine looks so tragic right now. Welcome to the official taste test of Tasty's mashed potatoes that I made wrong a little bit. I used two pounds of potatoes to make this amount of mashed potatoes and I ate all of it by myself in one day. So I would recommend that you guys try this recipe. It's, it's bomb. Uh, the cream, the one that we've like developed the flavor in, when you add all the spices and you boil it, it really soaks up the flavor of the spices. I kind of thought it was a little like mumbo jumbo, like a little lie. It's not. It actually soaks it up and the potatoes were so flavorful with the sage and the thyme. It was really, really good. Like, I'm going to soak my heavy cream with all sorts of things now. Also, don't forget to follow me on all social media. I mean, if you want, you can really do whatever you want with your life. My dog even has an Instagram. His name is Mochi. I'm going to introduce him to you guys soon. So I hope you like him and don't hate him because Nick hates him. And I think that to hate a Pomeranian puppy, you must certainly be a lizard person. So... I am having my suspicions that Nick is actually a lizard person, so they we're going through a hard time. I might hire a private detective, so if you want to um, donate to my Patreon so we can investigate this further on why Nick hates Pomeranian puppies, I would be more than thankful. All right, have a nice day. You're welcome. And let me know what recipe you want me to try in the comments. I'm all for trying all of BuzzFeed's Thanksgiving recipes because hello, this is my favorite food. My birthday is close to Thanksgiving. It's November 29th. Um, it's amazing because I always get Thanksgiving food for my birthday, but this year me and I are going to Iceland for my birthday, which is funsies and I will take you guys. I'm going to do a vlogmas, but mine's not going to be like everybody else. I'm actually going to make every single day like a little story, like an embarrassing story time about me or something like interesting that happened in my life, something to do with Christmas or like when we're on vacation, I'm going to do like the story of Iceland or like this freaking weird food, like lamb head or something. So it's not going to be like the traditional vlog with me, although I will sprinkle in some vlogs. Um, vlogs are kind of weird for me to edit because in the beginning of the day, you don't know where the day is going. At least I don't. My life is sporadic. And I never know, like, there's no story. It's just like things that happen. And I find those vlogs hard to watch. My favorite vlogger, though, um, you guys have probably all clicked out. Who's still watching this? Hello. Can you tell me if you're still watching this? Does anyone watch the end of my videos? I don't know. But my favorite vlogger, her name is Taylor R. And she makes like DIY, but also vlogs. And it's so interesting to me because she lives in Japan, but also she lived in China. So that was so fun. But when I live in America, I'm like, this is so boring. Like there's literally nothing to do here. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. You're welcome. And bye.